Duskwood finds herself in yet another laboratory, yet another tower, and she's just finished up some dissection. On the floor beneath her, she can hear great activity. The Tyrannosaurus bio-operator and a zombified hulk go head to head. The walls that have collapsed on this level, no doubt, are a result of this conflict. And so, she'll have to be cautious in this place, for danger, as ever, lurks around every corner. Kia ora, Legionnaires, Rikon here, and welcome back to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, No Hope, where we're going to continue exploring this level here, leaving the barracks behind for now, and seeing what else we can find in this place. Now, as I said in the last episode, I'm going to be going through this a little bit faster on camera, but I am going to be taking my time in general, as we need to be careful watching out for things like this. Gaps in the ground where the folks underneath of us here have been uh, tearing the place apart. So I'm going to continue on, see what we can find here, and I will keep you all up to date. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How about that? I knew science and the arcane were intertwined here. A cheap wizard cane off. Uh, okay, an arcane but cheap looking cane made of plastic. It has a white light up orb on the end. Using it will turn it on and provide a weak light. Not bad. <laughs> Let's take this cheap wizard cane. And I mean, it even uses a battery. And while it might seem like it's like mass produced, it, it still is apparently. Arcane doesn't fit in any pockets. Well then. It is also really not worth much at all. Honestly, the battery is probably worth more than anything to us. So let's just <laughs> let's just take the battery for now. Wizard Kane, I guess you'll just be staying there for now. Okay, and we've got ourselves a zombie security guard in this great big open space. We're going to try and see if we can take the security guard kind of around the corner here and take them on over towards uh, this. We're not going to step into it. No, we want them to step into it, ideally. Yup, excellent. Okay, so that, that did a number on them and that'll finish them off. Excellent. So let's try and see if we can find an area that is naturally well lit, which we might have down here. Okay, well, we've got the terminal down here. We're going to go and drag this body on over just as soon as we take those multivitamins out of your pockets. And we are going to dissect this corpse as well. Oh, we just heard another uh, thing kind of going off, but that was close to us. And apparently we're still concentrating, so let's stop concentrating at the moment. Seems like we had our altered momentum up still. All right, Dusk, let's get to work. Okay, we've heard a considerable amount of activity upstairs and we can see they were now proficient in zombie biology and we can also see that as we began the dissection vivisection would be more appropriate as we found the corpse not as still as we once thought yeah and we're hearing a lot of noises from above which means that we probably have um cyborgs above us yeah all right let's keep on moving. Ah, uh, that's a lot of thin sludge. More than I would like to see. There was a pupating zombie that had crawled into the dissector in that room there, so maybe it's already dead, or maybe it's not. That is a skeletal brute, and uh, yeah, we're not going to face that thing directly. We're going to try and see if we can lure that back towards um, our little special dissector, uh, but we will have to try and get their attention though. Come on, I want both of you to follow. There we go, you're nice and close. Let's head down here now. And we'll see if we can do the skeletal brute by themselves first. So, well, we might not be able to be choosy with who we get here. So let's just start moving. Try and maybe go over to this position here, and then we'll run, close the door, take the security guard on over here. Come on, keep on following. And let's just go on the other side of this. That'll do it. Good job, Dusk. Not much on this one, so let's go and get that brute. Hello, hi. <laughs> you were right there ready for us, huh? Okay, come on. Let's keep on going over this side now and straight on through. Okay, uh, didn't do anything. Well, that's unfortunate, but we did manage to stab it then, getting some damage. This skeletal brute has a fair amount of health and, yeah, doesn't seem to be bothered by the high energy conduit over there. So let's just back up again, let them run towards us. And then let's see, can we get this off in time? 
I'd love to go for a full shove. Two seconds though seems like a long amount of time. Ah, but not so long. Let's try and throw that back. Okay, we hurled it back, but it really didn't go all that far. Let's let it walk into the thing again and just see if there is any luck. I mean, kind of hard to tell if it is doing damage to it. It does say that it slices the skeletal brute, so maybe it is doing something. Let's move through again. Yeah, no, <laughs> it isn't. So we know that we can throw it back with our powers. How long would it take us to get a mind hammer off? Nine seconds. Not really doable. I mean, we could just try and stand and fight this thing, but it is an incredibly dangerous prospect. Let's just move back a little bit further here. I want to try and see if we can get it into a position where we're going to be able to slam it into a wall. Okay, we're going to try here. For shove, push, and there we go. Okay, and we managed to down it, but that's about it. Running back on over towards it, we've kicked it a few times here. Okay, we've got another critical there. A few other good strikes. Yeah, let's keep it up, Dusk. I mean, she's dodging, she's weaving. This thing is getting closer to death. Come on, Dusk. There we go. Nicely done. Whew. Okay, brutes are gnarly things, but uh, Dusk did well there, considering we actually didn't have any of our powers up at that moment. All right, continuing on. Oh, and there is the pupating zombie crawler. Um, yeah, <laughs> let's take you out, eh? Now, I want to try and go back to that brute and see if we can dissect that as well. I know each time that we're doing this, it is taking a little while, but because we've got zombie biology, I'm hoping it's going to be a little bit faster. We're going to close that door, turn off our light, and let's see here. Uh, it's an hour for this one. So it can tell us about ossified exoskeletons and also physiology just in general. Let's do it. Excellent. And with this one, the layout and segmentation of its bony carapace disturbingly resembles what you want to call plate mail but it's closer to the armor of an arthropod. Well, okay. Did we learn any kind of like vulnerabilities? Yes, indeed we did. I don't think we unlocked any proficiencies there, but I imagine we're closer to getting them. Ossified exoskeletons is gonna take us a fair bit longer and physiology in general is gonna take much longer, but we're over halfway done with that. Okay, onwards then. Oh, and actually that's this level. That's all that there is on this level. Uh, so we're going to be going to the staircase then and heading upstairs. Okay, all right, smashed glass, lots of smashed glass. So we will go carefully. Nothing in those two doors there. So let's go get our Voltaic strikes up and our electrical discharge. Yeah, there we go. And let's actually just catch our breath before we go and potentially face anything. Oh, yeah, we aren't going to need to. It's a shocker. A shocker brute and a shocker zombie. Both of those would be good for us to tear apart. Uh, so I'm just going to clear this room here. And then we'll have a look at doing just that. We've got a zombie scientist here as well. A disconnected autoclave. That's what we need to clean bionics. And it's much closer than the last autoclave that we'd seen. We're going to make another note here. Just so that we know that there is an autoclave there. And do we want to chop up a zombie scientist? We don't encounter that many of them. I think we'd do better by focusing on these two. And up here, ooh, Kevlar zombie. Yeah, I mean that's kind of three hours of dissection there, so it's a fair bit of work. But I feel like we've been neglecting the dissection for a while now. So let's head down towards the light here. Let's actually just put it on the table, put all of them on the table that is. Check our bandages, yep, they're all pretty good. We're at a comfortable temperature right now as well. We're a little hungry, so we can go and munch on something. Maybe some chocolate pudding. There we go, that's nice. We'll also get rid of that spam. Yeah. Okay, time to get to work. We will butcher everything and we will dissect. Only two hours. That could be worse. Okay, there we go. So we got through a lot of that there. First of all, looking at uh, one of the shockers, we find a strange tubular gland across the creature containing alternating layers of two alien tissue types soaked in black liquid. It smells putrid but saltier than usual for a zombie. While some parts of the blackened brain have lost their wrinkles, in others the wrinkles are surprisingly uniform. And I believe that was true for both of those shockers there. For the Kevlar zombie, the body stirs as you open it up, suggesting it's still trying to attack and reminding you to be cautious. Fibers of Kevlar-like material spread throughout the body like a cobweb, originating from a tiny entry wound 
in the abdomen. Very interesting. And we actually managed to get some ballistic Kevlar panels and patches from that. Filthy, for sure, but I suppose that's a useful way for us to get Kevlar. Well, right then. Messy, messy work, Dusk. Let's get our light back on, and uh, let's get those powers back up again. And let's see what we've got going on here. Ah, all right, we have Skitterbots, two of them. So we'll just close that door for now. We'll leave them to it. And another here as well. So we'll go and back on up. And you know, probably should have had this up sooner. Let's get our spark sight on. That's going to allow us to see robots uh, wherever they are. Very useful for us to have in a lab. Means that we shouldn't be surprised by turrets either. Oh, okay, well, we got a lot of slimes in here. I think we had a dead someone in here at some point. We've got lots of... Yeah, there are no remains, so I think the remains turned into these slimes, potentially. Wouldn't mind getting stuff from the first aid kit down there, the gauze and whatnot, so let's just see if we can quickly take out the various slimes in the room here, just so they won't bother us. Yeah, we'll take all of those, including the aspirin. Nice cash card, too. Same here. Excellent. Ooh, okay, we have a zombie scientist and a zombie hollow. So the hollow we have to be a little cautious for because I think they can attack us from the distance and they will turn into more than one thing. Yeah, they're trying to attack us from there. All right, let's see if they split when we uh, take them apart. Yep, there we go, they split into two. All right, let's keep on chopping there. Excellent. Now we haven't taken apart any of these zombie scientists yet. I don't know if we're going to just because they aren't going to be something that we encounter regularly. What we really should be trying to take apart is zombie predators, because we seem to be encountering them a lot out there in the open world. Ooh, okay. Black Ops zombie and a zombie security guard. So the Black Ops zombie, I'm certainly tempted to try and take apart. I'm just trying to remember if we've seen any um, dissection areas around here, and I'm not 100%, but we might have one back over this way. Yep, there we go. Okay, so let's try and lure them on over. We've got another one down in this other room as well. Unfortunately, we are going to be a little bit slower over here. So let's try and step over here. Let's step to the side and try and see if we can do a little dive around the corner here. Unfortunately, we are going to have to face them eventually. Let's see if we can take that security guard down now. Excellent. And it sounds like in the other room, the dissector has been activated multiple times. We've got some more ammunition here. Actually, hmm, M9. That's what ours is. So we'll actually take the full magazine just in case we need to quickly swap out in the future. You're bleeding again. Okay, good. Let's get on over here. Badly bleeding. Wonderful. Get a few good crits there. Okay, move to the side. Let's just move down here a little further. There we go. Excellent. So the security guard, we've already done one of them. So we shouldn't have to worry all that much about dissecting them, but yeah, I'd like to see if we can get this one here. Let's take them down to the nearest terminal. All right, time to work. 43 minutes, it's nowhere near as long. All right, and with this one here, despite it not being very evident from the outside, it seems the entire digestive tract of the abomination was bloated with its obscuring smoke. I see, good stuff. We took note of some vulnerabilities there. It's what we like to see, Dusk. Now, let's continue on. And I think we're actually getting a little bit of light from the outside. We are in, wow. What a mess we've got going on out there. Yeah, we can see a little bit onto the street. It's uh, it's pretty messy. Let's see if we can crack open some of these crates here. You never know. Oh, and we've definitely got something mechanical down here. Let's just have a peek. And that is a cyborg, a prototype cyborg. Someone with enough surgical skill may be able to restore some of their humanity but we'd have to try and hit them with some form of an EMP to kind of uh, short circuit them. I don't know if that's gonna happen. They look like a person, a person just like us, yet they're trapped in a grotesque body. Let's see if we can move away from them for the moment. Um, could we maybe just try and get like a jolt off? Let's have a look at that. Yup, okay, we managed to jolt them, giving them a bit of a zap. Let's see if we can get another off in time. Not quite, we'll get a little bit further away. Jolt them again, still just zapped. Uh, we could also try Static Touch. 18 seconds for us to cast it though. Well, we can change that, can't we? Our focus is not so bad at the moment, so let's, so let's go to our mutations and turn off extended channeling. Now, if we have a look at Static Touch, 72 moves, that's better. Okay, we try and we fail. What's our chance there on that? 
35% chance of failure. It's not bad. And there we go. Okay, we managed to hit them for 14 damage. That's all right. Zapped and dazed. We're going to try and see if we can do one more of those there. I am hoping that it's not going to outright kill them, but who knows? They seemingly are trying to kill us. And with that, they fall limp on the ground. Unfortunate. Okay, we've got slimes over here now as well. Okay. Grim, but I think understanding how this person worked could help us. Okay, we've seen a zombie predator down there. It's uh, okay. Will this um, be upsetting, however? I mean, we'll find out, won't we? Uh, seemingly not. If we are to save someone in a condition like this, we have to first understand how they work, and we've started to understand that. We've also salvaged three power storage CBMs, which means that they are going to have to be cleaned before they're usable. We also need to eat, which we're not going to do by this body. Um, I would like to try and take those with us, because we don't actually have any power storage at the moment, and I know that installing CBMs can affect our ability to cast magic, but with Technomancy, I believe we can find ways around that. But yeah, we need to find a way to make this work for us to be able to fit these. Volume is 2.5 liters at the moment. So we have to just go through all of our things that we've got and see how much space we have left. Yeah, yeah, we don't quite have enough space in our backpack at the moment. So I'm trying to see what is the most voluminous thing that we have. Probably don't need the wax right now, that can go. Oh, these novels that we've got? We can just digitize those, and I think that's probably something that we're going to look at doing. First of all, let's just download some data, and then we'll go and store these books. All right, and we have those three salvage power storage CBMs now. Now, I have found the corpse of a zombie hunter and a grabber. We're going to take those with us over towards this here. We have spotted a small slime. Hmm, okay, we'll need to take care of those first. The larger one as well. A few good strikes and I think we're nearly there. Okay, good. Okay, so we have some more work to do here with both of these. An hour to get them both done. Let's make it happen. Okay, well, first of all, we are going to need to burn something soon. Our pyromania is kicking in. But looking on these here, with the last one, we find random cavities in the body, which makes us think that it was at least partially feeding on its own tissues to keep functioning. How nice. Yeah. But we've learned more about their vulnerabilities, which is exactly what we want to do, which makes criticals all the more likely. Okay, we can see those electronic signatures in this room here. So we'll move into some of the others. And what have we here? Lab rats. Many lab rats. All of them, unfortunately, walked straight into that... Uh, dissector. Now we've just got to head back towards the staircase, which we don't know where that is yet. Ah, okay. We can still go up towards the north. Let's get our light on and see what else we've got in here. Ooh, this is a library. Okay. We've got a book of poetry here. How nice. I suppose we could quickly try and see if we can digitize that. Six minutes and 40 seconds. Yeah. And there's definitely something bashing about upstairs. More slimes in here. I'm just going to try and see if we can quickly dart over towards this. But I am wondering if it's going to at all be worth it. Well, no, it's, there's just a big old goo pit over there. So, yeah, we'll uh, leave them to it. Let's see what we have going on here. We do have shallow water there, which is a little strange. Uh, this is a library. Okay. Login successful. Please, let's work. Lock disabled. Excellent. We've had some pretty good luck so far, but the water, that's intriguing i i really have not seen that before it's shallow though so we should be able to move through it relatively easily i mean yeah i guess we're just going to get our feet a little wet here we're not seeing much in the way of books though yeah really absolutely nothing at all let's check those vending machines got some wafers yeah sure we'll purchase them and nothing in the other one okay all right use the towel and head upstairs Okay, uh, prison and containment, I'm gonna take guess. I'm gonna guess, yes, it is. Okay, well, let's see if we can get it open. Yeah, we've been super lucky so far. Oh, okay, a scientist and a grappler. So let's move to the side here, deal with the scientist first of all, and the grappler. All right, let's take this thing down. Knocking it back there, excellent work, Dusk. Ooh, chemical reference 
classified. Sounds good to me. We've got some flesh raptors in here as well, and it's looking kind of nasty in that cell. Okay, all right. Let's take a seat for a moment here and just have a flick through this, see what it's actually going to teach us. Quite a bit, seemingly. How to make all kinds of chemicals, including napalm and sprayable toxic gas. Fun. Uh, we are going to digitize that right away. 33 minutes for us to do that, though. Whoa. Oh, and we fell asleep briefly. That's unfortunate. We actually had a dream there. We were searching the city for food, but everything we find turns out to be rotting zombie flesh when we get ready to eat it. You wake up with a sick to your stomach feeling. Yeah, we're in a really bad mood now because of it. Okay, well, we probably need to start a fire. Um, I don't like the idea of us starting a fire while we're in a tower. Um, yeah, see if we can finish taking these pictures. Okay, we got there in the end. We're just going to check the rest of the desks here, see if there is anything else. Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay, so heading out here then. Not much in these rooms, but something died in here at some point. Take that gauze, thank you. And we've got some bleach over here. Ooh, and a prototype cyborg beneath us. Okay, yet another one. And yeah, right now we don't have the means of helping the cyborg. But we did manage to do some pretty decent damage. <sighs> yeah, it didn't take much to take them down. Now they probably, like the others that we've seen before, have bionics in them that we can utilize we need to take these slimes down first though so dusk is going to take a good crack at that and it looks like when we kill the slimes we do actually get some things back i think where bodies were consumed before uh we'll actually grab some of those alcohol wipes and well we can see okay here we are tired but we're going to get dissecting or not because we fell asleep yet again and we had another dream not a good one at that. Maybe all the dissection starting to catch up with Dusk. Okay, so not much, but we do have some more power storage CBMs. Let's move away from the body and look at having something to eat. Ideally, when we do eat, we should be eating with a table and chair. It can make all the difference. And we're actually starting to get a little low on food at the moment. We may have to go and try and see if we can harvest some more berries. But all that forest honey here, that will help. We'll knock back some root beer as well. Okay. Ooh, okay. Looks like a big kind of cloning space. Let's take down this scientist. Excellent. Nothing in these vats from what we can see. Yeah, they're all empty. It is unsettling for Dusk whenever she sees things like that. Okay, we've got a few zombies to take care of. So let's let them get a little bit closer. That boomer is going to hit us kind of no matter what. We could try to see if we could hit it with a mind hammer though. 35 moves, it's going to be pretty quick. Let's just back up here. What are our chances at the moment? 33%, that's pretty decent. And that's a decent mind hammer. I'd like to do one more of those. Let's try again, that'll do it. Okay, let's meet this one in the doorway. Strike and take it down. So we could butcher the fat zombie because uh, we do encounter a few of them, but they're generally pretty easy to take down. So I think it could be... Well, a little bit of a waste. So, let's just stay focused for now. We found the next staircase. Let's see what else we have here. Smoke. Okay, so we could air bubble here, but we still have our firefighter PBA mask. We'll chuck that on. It's got 14 charges, which isn't a massive amount. So, smoke vent. Okay, didn't realize that that was a thing. I guess, I guess some labs can have smoke vents, and that's a caustic soldier zombie we just don't want to fight that in general we could try to see if we can nope 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 okay all right getting away from that getting away from that now didn't think it was going to actually be able to throw the caustic uh acid at us generally it's more when we hit them it's released but uh yeah that's not good we were badly bleeding there but we've already managed to put a fair bit of pressure on and stop that from bleeding too much okay let's get some gauze on that torso all right and let's see we're gonna have to approach this from another angle i think let's check the charges here 14 still okay so if we can god damn that thing is fast we need to try and bring it onto the other side of this here that's insane okay i didn't think it was going to have that little of a cooldown that's wild and no doubt it is going to be able to see pretty far 
Okay, it just kind of zoomed straight past that. Okay, this uh, this ain't so good. We need to we need to really stop screwing around now. Okay, um, we need to get away from that right now. We're gonna go down here. We're gonna turn off the light. We need to put pressure onto that right this second, and then we need to try and get a pain split off. But that's gonna be too difficult. Our pain is too severe. We cannot afford to get hit again now. We're gonna take a tramadol. That will help the pain pretty quickly. Some aspirin as well. It is still going to take time though. So yeah, we just, we cannot afford for it to see us now. So we're just gonna have to wait, give it five minutes. We're gonna keep our ears open. Yeah, those, those creatures, they are run enders. Okay, we do actually have a chance to cast paint split now. So we're just gonna keep on trying and see if we can get this damn thing off. Okay. Oh, we got it. We got it. Damn, that's such a good spell. You can see how many times we attempted to cast that there. Dusk, good bloody work. Now, we we really need to be cautious here. We have no idea what this thing is right now. We are going to be able to see better than it in general though, so um, we are going to run with that. Okay, is it out here? Very hard to tell. Do we want to go down into that big area? Not really. I'm just trying to listen to hear if we can hear it moving around. You son of a bitch. Okay, all right, time to run, get that door closed. Hot damn, that thing is an absolute freaking menace, but we got away from it for now. Okay, we just need to hope that we don't run into anything else like that. An acidic zombie still ain't great, but we'll take it. We will take it. And honestly, if we were able to um, dissect that, it could help us. I suppose we could use a little bit of time to try and get our pain under control. So let's haul this on over towards some light. Let's actually just kind of go around the corner and let's just check the quality of the bandage on our torso at the moment. Oh, it's, there wasn't anything there. We're going to use some proper antiseptic as well to make sure that it's going to heal as fast as possible. Then we get to work. Well, I'm not surprised. Um, acid, <laughs> acid is everywhere. Um, but luckily that didn't hurt us that much. It was just as we finished dissecting it. The overbearing sweet smell of decay emanating from the carcass forces you to take short breaks during not to puke. The thing's feet are entirely calloused and smaller toes are completely vestigial. Ah, there. <laughs> okay, well, we got it done. We learnt about its vulnerabilities and I'm assuming that did teach us about acidic creatures. Well, maybe, maybe not. But our general understanding of physiology is at 91% now. So we are, we're getting there. We're only experiencing mild pain now as well, which is really good. Let's just be cautious here. We've still got enough charges in our PBA mask. We're gonna go into the smoke. Oh, and we're not really seeing anything else here. Okay, so we just make for the staircase then. Let's leave that damn soldier behind. Oh, and it probably is worth us trying to get towards that door, but then again, moving the body, no. Let's just go upstairs, and we'll start with a peek. Okay, I think, I think we will keep our light source off for now. Nothing in these boxes here. Also, we didn't have spark sight up, so I've just gone and re-engaged that for us, and ooh, okay. All right, well, we'll take you down first, and we also probably just need to make sure that we are indeed alone here. Seems like it. Okay, well, we'll crank this winch first of all. Check all the crates that are here. Well, we had something moving on the other side of the wall there. Nothing. Okay. But this samples bypass security. I mean, I'd like to try. And let's see if we can unlock it. Ooh, okay. Good hacking dusk. Secured plastic box. Ooh, okay. Hot damn. Five glass flasks of Elf A mutagen. A lot of which Dusk has used in the past. Five flasks of the stuff though. We've got production tests here as well. An accompanying document that describes tests performed on different subjects. That could be used for a quest potentially, so I think it's worth us uh, taking this. Yeah. Also, I think maybe just taking the secured plastic box. Uh, I was going to say because they'd probably be watertight, right? Uh, maybe we just take it as is. We'll just, we'll just take the test tubes, the flasks. Yeah, okay, I think that's everything. We haven't left anything behind there. What a find, what a find. Uh, let's go take this firefighter mask off. Let's see what else we have here. 
another broken cyborg. Okay, all right. We are going to make this quick. We're going to try and make it humane as much as we can. Dusk striking again and again. And then uh, I think it's probably worth us spending that time doing the dissection. We just want to make sure that we're alone in here first. Oh, we're not, not entirely. We've got a lot of other things here. Zombie blanks, technicians, shriekers, and a bat wing zombie. So yeah, we can dissect all of them. The scientists, I well, we haven't done, so maybe we maybe we should just do all of them. Oh, let's do this the smart way and just bring the prototype on over towards the others. It's much faster for us to do it that way. We'll stop hauling, and I just need to make sure that there is nothing else in this room here with us. No, we are in the clear. Okay, so while Dusk is tired, I think we're still going to go for this. Knock back some of that aspirin. And let's see how long this is going to take. Four hours. So I doubt we'll be able to do all of this in one go, but we're going to try. Okay, well, I think we're over halfway through now and we're now proficient in physiology. So that may speed up how quickly we're able to do this. Oh, okay. Um, interesting. Use of your powers has led to an insight. You can extend a galvanic charge outward from your skin, charging any compatible devices you're carrying with you if you can figure out this technique. That sounds fantastic. Uh, no, we'll keep on dissecting for now though. Okay, and that's everything. We are super dehydrated, so we're gonna go and knock back uh, lots of clean water. I think that will probably do it. And yeah, we are now um, proficient with physiology, and we've learned a lot about the zombies that we did dissect. Learning their vulnerabilities, and now with that familiarity, it seems it leads to human autopsies. Okay, which we don't actually have any proficiencies in at the moment. Right, well, uh, we are tired and we really should try and get some sleep before we are just like overly tired. I don't want to sleep on the level where that uh, monstrous soldier was though. So maybe we will just have to push on a little longer. Let's see what we've got going on in here. We'll actually use our light source, okay. So far, so good. Okay, a broken man hack. A lot of destruction over here. That's uh, alarming, to say the least. We're moving closer towards where that destruction is. This is prisoner containment of, uh, of a kind. Let's go for this grappler here. Okay, take you out. Batwing zombie. All right, we've learnt about both of those now. So criticals, theoretically, should be more common. Oh, okay, that's a screecher. We also know about you too. Wonderful. And we've got a scientist here. Let's take you out really quickly. And let's just see if they actually had anything on them. A sedative? Yeah, we'll grab that. But there is no way that they were the ones that did all of this. What was that? It was a shady zombie. Okay. Terrifying. <laughs> Absolutely terrifying. Really caught me off guard. Okay, we've got a shrieker in there. And the doors that lead to what? I guess it's a corridor that kind of just goes between them. Right? Yeah. Yeah, kind of like this. Where does that go? Kind of intrigued. We very rarely actually open these things up. I think we might try and go for it. Let's uh, see if we can actually hack it though. Yes, uh, yes we can. Emergency containment release. Okay, um, so first of all, we'll go through here, take care of the shrieker. Wow, okay. You actually put up a hell of a fight there. Not bad. We'll stop that bleeding and uh, move on through here. Let's check this back room. I guess there's a chance there could be useful things here. I mean, that's certainly useful. We'll go and grab that. Uh, I don't know if there's going to be anything useful on these two, though. I mean, you never know. Take a good few strikes at them. Try and take down this grappler first, I think. We've got heavy bleeding on the security guard. Oh, excellent work there. A cash card, sure. Let's stop that bleeding. We'll just see if there's anything else here. Nah, not really. And I suppose we'll put you out of your misery. It's a kindness, I suppose. But yeah, none of those things are what um, broke out down here and ah, uh, okay, we've opened this up now. So we can actually get upstairs. It's good to know, we can see something dead in another room over this way. Let's go slowly. Okay, hello, hello. Let's take you out, scientist. Um, right, what do we have here? It died in here by itself, a crawler. This is containment again, it looks like. Not exactly the same kind of containment, but yeah. Got a bat wing here. So the crawler is a unique creature in that it's not, well, I don't think it's from here exactly. It's a twisted person. 
Ooh, energy cola. Uh, sure, we will knock that back for now. Give ourselves a little bit of a boost because it seems like uh, we're not going to sleep just yet. You, zombie brute, you can just stay in there for now. It looks like we've kind of cleared this level, so I guess, I guess we're going to poke our head upstairs. Should maybe drink some more water before we do, though. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's just start with a peek. Okay, piles of rubble and solid rock. We've seen this on the same level that had uh, a fungal presence at the other laboratory. I wonder if we are going to be seeing a similar thing here. Ooh, that's an interesting one. We have a mutated arm in here. I think Dusk can almost feel Elliot salivating at that, but uh, no, that is that is not a Dusk thing. That will be staying in here. I mean, she just found a whole load of mutagens, so I don't think we're going to worry about that. Okay. Uh, we got ammunition down there, which means that there was some kind of turret, probably. Yep, there's a broken security bot down there. Uh, we need to try and get rid of this, uh, or pretty much all of the light as fast as we can. We can see a security bot right now. It can also see us, so we don't like that. Um, there ain't much that we can do about that, though. We can close this. That'll give us a moment. Okay. I think there's one down there as well. Yup. Um, there is no easy way for us to smash... Shoot. Okay, there's one down there now as well. Okay. Not a great position that we're in right now. We know that Mind Hammer works really well against these things. If one comes around the corner, though, I don't know what we're going to do. I'm just going to peek for now. Okay, we can't see it. But it's there. It's 100% down there. Okay, we're just going to keep taking these little cautious steps like this. If we can kind of get over towards this side, I would be happy with that. Can we step out this way? Seemingly yes. Over here. Okay, so far so good. We know that, that we can see better than them in the darkness as well, but right now that's seeing pretty good right now. I'm going to put on safe mode. Yeah, it's just kind of waiting there, isn't it? We could try to... I think the first thing that I need to do is get momentum alteration up, because I think that's going to mean there is less of a chance of those bullets doing as much damage to us. Let's change our power. Put extended channeling on. I'm fine with this taking longer. Momentum alteration. There we go. And I think we'll turn this back off. We could try wind running. Get across there as quickly as we can. Okay, it took more than one casting, but we got it done. Okay, we heard hostile detected, but we made it before it could start shooting at us. That's great, that's really good. Let's go close this here, and we need to start smashing as much light as we can, as we possibly can. Okay, that's helped a little bit, but there's still a lot of light coming in from the other rooms down here now at the moment. Um, this is a very, very dangerous place for us to be. How far can we shoot with our mind hammer? We've got a seven range. Let's just uh, dart around here for now. Smash that. Not liking this, I'll be honest. If we are further away, we stand a better chance at not taking as much damage if we are shot at. Okay, right. Let's try and see if we can move that out the way so that we can smash the light. Ah, it's, it's actually on the square beneath us. That's fine. We're getting there. Um, I'm also tempted to crouch because if we're behind, we might actually get a little bit of cover or we can get cover here. That's how we do that. Okay, we use this as cover. We duck around, we are going to get seen there. Okay, so here's what we do with that then. We grab this, and we try and push. We can't, there is something in the way. Okay, can we grab that and push that? There is something in the way. Okay, yeah, bullets. Oh man, yikes, not great. Um, can we just make it past them into this next space? Yes, it seems like maybe, but this is also, I believe, where they came from. Okay, let's stand up. We need to be really wary of light sources. If we stand near light right now, we may be visible. We don't sense any electronics around us right now, but they can be further away. We just need to know if they're in here or not. Let's start running. Okay, <laughs> hello Recon Mick. Good to see you. Uh, I don't think they're in this space with us. So, at least this room here, this big old lab finale is clear right now let's see what we've got going on on this necromancer i wouldn't mind cutting that on up let's just see what else we've got going on here lots of liquid ammonia it looks like so i'm pretty sure if we try and activate this uh yeah 
It's a lot of mutagen, which honestly, I am more and more tempted to take. I think, I think we're going to try and take some of this stuff. The Elf A mutagen. Let's just take a little for old time's sake. Now, if we have a look at our effects here on the side, we can see changing. Okay, so we shouldn't have to do anything else at this stage. We've consumed both a primer and a mutagen, for better or for worse. And we know right now that the bots are over in this section here. Oh boy. Let's just move through the rest of this facility, see what we've got going on. Ah, some nice clean cold water. We'll take that. Pour that into our hydration pack. I mean, we could probably, probably do with drinking that right now, honestly. And just the workout space here. Okay, this spot is clear. Hello, dinosaurs. You guys are bio-operators, and that is an operation couch. Okay, um, let's just go and close this behind us. Is that cattle fodder? It is. We actually dropped some cattle fodder downstairs. We could try to use them as friends. We've got some camo pants here, it looks like. Just want to see if these doors are sealed. They are. That's good. All right, we've got lots of mechanical things in here. Unfortunately, we don't have any CBMs just hanging out. A Triceratops bio-operator. Mmm. Uh, can we, can we try? Can we try? Let's see here. Uh, cattle fodder? Feed? Yes. The Triceratops is now our pet. This bio-operator, Triceratops, is now our pet. Okay. Let's see if we can't get this thing open. With bypass security? Let's see if we can unlock it. Lock disabled. Hell yes. Okay. Um, right, so... We've got a Deinonychus bio-operator here, who we're going to try and see if we can take down, and we do pretty freaking quickly. Can you even make it through here, I wonder? We've got an anesthetic kit here, good to see. Now I wonder if we could get uh, bionics from these guys as well, potentially. I mean, theoretically, we could get one from this Deinonychus and anything else that is in here. Oh, and there's quite a bit. Okay. Just having a look at all of them. Right, so I think what we're going to do is spend a little bit more time working on this. We're not going to get much other than a potential bionic out of this, so this will tell me if it's going to be worth us dissecting them going forwards, because we already have all the knowledge we need here. Okay, oh, ho, 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 okay, okay. Yeah, it's definitely worth it. We've salvaged leg alloy plating and a Mark II power storage CBM. And they are not filthy, because these things weren't zombified. Ooh, okay, that does kind of change things. Now, these ones, uh, they are... Well, this one's actually just a bio-operator. That one is a zombie bio-operator, and it does kind of remind us of Betty. This one is also a zombie, so we can't really be dealing with that one. But we could, we could try and deal... Oh. Dimorpho zombie bio-operator. Okay, I missed the zombie part of that. These two, they do seem kind of friendly, but... <sighs> what are we going to do? What we need to. They are incredibly difficult to hit, but we've kind of been hitting them. We might actually stand a better chance extending our channeling and then just trying to go for static touches. Oh, yeah, no, that's not going to work. It reflects off of their hide. Well, let's go for a mind hammer then. Yeah, that'll do it. 56 damage. There we go. The first has fallen. And the second. Let's get our breath back here. Okay. Uh, it seems like we have light in this space. It's not our own light. We're going to go move these bodies over each other here. And then this 100% will be the last thing that Dusk does. Two hours? She's been awake for a long time at this stage. And the light did actually leave us there. But there we have it. We've finished... With that, and we have another Mark II power storage CBM, two of them. The question is, can we install salvaged units, or will we need to put them through an autoclave first? I'm thinking, uh, yeah, we more than likely will. We're not going to be able to get anything else good from these ones here. I mean, if they're tainted, it'll be the same cleaning process no matter what. I think there's one very easy way we could find that out. That's by heading into here. And let's just see. Yeah, not sterile. And with the others, they are highly contaminated. So we would need to use an autoclave to sterilize it. Thing is, we can power things now just by ourselves. 
Is it possible for us to power the autoclave and clean these bits and pieces? Because leg plating? That can go a long way. That is if that is what we want. It could certainly increase Dusk's chances to survive. Yet it may potentially conflict with mutations. We'll see. As mutations no doubt will be on the way. After consuming that mutagen, changes are occurring. And Legionnaires, in the next, perhaps we'll see what those changes are. But I'd like to thank you all for joining me for yet another episode. And at this stage, we've pretty much cleared out this tower. The danger that those sentry bots present is not worth the risk for the potential reward. As I think we already have more than enough of a reward right here. And so, I ask you all, if you enjoyed today's episode, please consider leaving a comment or a like to let me know if you enjoyed the show. As for now, I have been Rykon, you have all been awesome, and until next time, stay tuned.